my gosh. Well, embrace the winter and try out some new outdoor sports. The Kentwood Parks and Rec team making that easy by offering snowshoe rentals at Covenant Park from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays. It's five bucks a person, or you can get a punch card. A Covenant Park has groomed trails that are perfect for both first-time or experienced snowshoers. It's a one-mile loop trail. It's also great for cross-country skiing, walking, and running. And there's a dedicated two-mile path for fat tire biking as well. And Grand Haven's iconic Pronto Pups. As its door is open this weekend, the waterfront stand. Oh Look at those oh kids. Gosh, these kids man. This is a thing. The waterfront stand is going to be open today, tomorrow, and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. According to their social media pages, they're expecting shorter <laughs> lines today because of school and work hours. But afterwards, there's no telling how long those lines are going to get. Owners boast the same price as they have for the past 18 years. It's $1.75 for a Prano Pup, bottled water for a buck. And bundle up yeah. when you're heading out there. Brr. Well, it is a musical journey for all of us living in a world of short attention spans. Immerse yourself at 15 minutes of fame at All Artworks Viewing in Grand Rapids. This features virtuoso Mary Beth Orr, an orchestral musician, soloist, and chamber musician. This event fe features 15 one minute masterpieces created by composers from around the world for Orr's extraordinary fusion of horn and vocal talent. She brings together a blend of classical and apple. Metal melodies with her unique musical expression. Explore the synergy of visual art and music at all artworks, both before and after the performance, with its collection of original, one of a kind, fine art. It is all for sale. It is a very cool place. There you go. Doors open at six. This is a free event celebrating the creative spirit of contemporary music. You can get more information at allartworks.com. That's cool. Yeah, absolutely. Well, KDL has a new robot at the Grattan Township Express a Library. Good robot dancing. Thank you. Very yeah, good, you. yes. Uh, we'll sign you up next to this guy. The robot can help you get your library card, place books on hold, video chat with a librarian, and watch a story time video. But it needs a name. Yay. Todd Chance. That can be the name. <laughs> Perfect. How about BP McBeeperson? Okay, like there you go. Well, like you can that. submit your name suggestion to kdl.org slash robot. Name submissions will be open through the end of today. The top submitted names will be put into a public vote starting January 22nd. And the winning name will be announced on Friday, January 26th. we got to see your robot dance. Do you yeah. like that one? Yeah, yeah, I think get we should name I think Kevin's a good name. Mr. Mr. Hey, Roboto. Mr. Roboto, there it goes. Yes, yes. Hello, I am Kevin. It's your head of like. Would you like to read a book? <laughs> Legoland Discovery Center in Michigan. Oh, well, my daughter's a Lego maniac, so she's cheering this on because the, look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. The, the giant Very lion cool. there. Oh they, yeah, they made a few adjustments. To one of their most popular attractions there. They've uh, kind of adjusted yeah. it because of the Detroit Lions playoff game against the Rams. You know, but they they suspended a lion right there, as you can see from the rafters over their miniature Lego version of Ford Field. Cool. And it's all part of the attraction's Miniland, which is a very cool place to visit. The stadium itself took over two weeks to design and build with 15,000 Lego bricks used to make the stands. Oh my goodness. There's 800 minifigs in those seats. Other landmarks you can see, by the way, when you're there, you can see Comerica Park, Little Caesars Arena. Yeah, it's the whole Detroit LCA landscape. Right yeah, it's very cool. Oh my gosh, I want to go.